Studio 8, this is CT Style. Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome to a Monday edition of CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Sarah Cody. We had some beautiful fall weather over the weekend. Lovely. Just as we suspected, I didn't really sleep any extra with the time change, nope, did you? No, kids were up, although no. I was kind of relaxed this morning. Nobody was yes. running out the door. It was nice to have that extra hour. But, That's true. Uh, we had a kid-filled weekend in the mm, Dufour house. We did. It was a little Paw Patrol action. Yeah, Paw Patrol Live <laughs> was over at the Oakdale Theater, and they were kind enough to invite us, and boy, did we have a great time. We were all dressed in our Paw Paw Patrol gear. We got to meet the cast. We met Ryder. And if you missed it this weekend over at the Oakdale, you can catch them at the Palace. They're going to be in Stamford both Saturday and Sunday. And there's still some tickets available and there. The kids loved it, I assume. Yeah, uh, we enjoyed it. You like, did? It was, it was cute. a good show. It was a All good right. show. I would see it again. Recommended. All right. Well, I went to a little bit more of a grown up soiree. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I emceed Bottoms Up, a toast for the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation at the Delamar in West Hartford on Saturday night. Now, it was a really elegant affair to raise funds. And awareness for the three million Americans living with those diseases. 19,000, if you can wow. believe it, uh, right here in Connecticut. Met some lovely people. Senator Blumenthal we stopped by. Everyone was really happy to see him. So it was a nice night. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. It's nice to have a night out, even if you're working right. a little bit, right? That's true. Okay, today's dish is presented by Stone Academy. Macy's is already looking forward to Thanksgiving by unveiling this year's parade balloons. I thought this was big news. Like, it, it is means big news. Like, really I'm excited like about it. this. Now, they went on their first test flight this weekend and among the new additions is an astronaut Snoopy, okay. a smoky bear, a SpongeBob and Gary balloon. This of course is all to prepare the hundreds of balloon handlers for that main event on Thanksgiving morning for the 93rd annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Such a tradition. Always, right? Do you have it on in your house? I in do the while I'm cooking. I usually do. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So big news on the Popeyes front. Are you into this? <laughs> uh, sort of. Customers waited in long lines all over the country all, all throughout the weekend yeah. to get their hands on the returning spicy chicken sandwich. I wasn't exactly in line. Yet, yeah, no, me neither. No. I didn't know this was happening, but apparently it's a big deal. Workers in Florida said the drive through line reached about 30 cars deep, and wait times outside and inside the restaurant were about an hour. Wow. The sandwich was first introduced over the summer after a two month wait. The chain started selling the popular sandwich again yesterday. So, can we get it up the street? That's the question. I think we probably can. Oh, yeah, our producer says we can. And you were the one who uh, directed <laughs> me to Chick fil A. Chick fil A is pretty phenomenal. They have a pretty good chicken sandwich, too. Yeah. yeah so I mean, I'm not familiar with Popeyes. I might I have either. to give it a try. Well, see well, what let's all the hype is lunch. about. <laughs> to Popeyes. <laughs> there, there. Why not? All right. Uh, even more reason to dig into those leftovers from Halloween. Today is National Candy Day. I don't really Get it? Why isn't Halloween National Candy Day? True. Now, did you know that sugar wasn't always readily available? So the first candies were actually made from honey. Candy makers coated fruits and flowers with honey, and this method preserved the flowers and nuts or created forms of candy. Well, if you want another sweet day to look forward to, February 1st is National <laughs> Dark Chocolate Day. Thank you. We'll All set right. our calendars to that. I sure have a lot of candy still in my house from so Halloween. So much candy. I don't so really candy. know what I'm going to do so with it's it. It's National all. Candy Week, maybe. Yeah, there you go. And speaking of sweets, NASA is aiming to bake some cosmic cookies. Yeah, they literally launched the new experiment on Saturday by sending a rocket to space yeah, carrying an oven just for baking cookies. Yeah, nope. you could tell the, the cargo capsule made it to the International Space Station overnight. Now, the space agency sent pre made cookie dough, that was a good idea, up with the ovens so the astronauts on board can enjoy some extraterrestrial treats. That's pretty cool. Now, we all know the feeling we get after eating a freshly baked cookie. So, NASA wants to see if a warm, ooey gooey cookie will help the crew members, too. Now, is that NASA talking to us? I think it is. I hear it. That's what it is. We're in space. If the test oven works, they're going to be able to send hot cooked meals up to space as well. All right, that's great news. And a 25 year old woman. And a 26 year old man, both from Kenya, are celebrating big wins at the New York City Marathon this weekend. And yeah, they were part of the nearly 53,000 runners who crossed the finish line at Central Park after winding through New York's five boroughs yesterday. Now, in case you were wondering, the woman's time was, wow, two hours, 22 minutes, 38 seconds. The men's winner finished at two hours, eight minutes, and 13 seconds. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. Now, those runners really had some great weather. That uh, helped, and right? I had a good friend who ran in memory of her dad. Oh, Proud of her. Good. And everybody. That's a big moment. Big I mean, moment. Usually, under three hours is good, and these were just over two. Incredible yep. stuff.